All right, guys, so today's an exciting day. Um, we accidentally found the hand dug well here the last time we were up at the property. I'm just coming up, uh, close down the place for the season, but we're going to see how deep it is. I'm hoping it's more than 8, 10 feet deep. Uh, that appeared to be that there was some wood cribbing in it. So anyways, let's go check it out. It's actually uh, right below the barn. And uh, it's kind of, I'm glad I found it before the kids did because it's actually not cased and it's not covered. It's just at the uh, ground level. So I'm just going to check it out. If it's uh, deep enough in the spring, I'm going to case it, clean it out, and uh, uh, then we'll have some water. Hopefully the water's good. So anyways, uh, hopefully honey here can uh, help me find it and uh, again and uh, we'll go check the depth here okay I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what this is so here's the old cabin up behind this brush pile is the old barn and right down here under this mess of trees is the well so Oh, this looks like it got a lot of stuff pushed in. Thought there was some water in there, but you can see the wood cribbing. Just gonna give her a little poke with the stick, see if uh, how much junk is on there. But might have to clean this out in the spring. Okay, as you can see, there's absolutely no water in there right now. A bit worried this is more of a snake pit than a water source at this point, but uh, you can see in there, it does have some black, uh, the black hose out of there, which was running who knows where, but uh, I think in the spring I'm gonna have to clean this all out. Some more black hose running up the hill. You can kind of see it um, up running on the surface. They must have had it going overland here, but I will see what happens here. I might get a casing anyway and might try to dig this out in the spring, but uh, right now she's dry. Well, that was a little bit disappointing. I was hoping there'd be at least some water in there, but it looks like uh, it's got a lot of debris in there. Spring, no doubt, uh, there'll be water in there. Um, this whole area that this well and stuff's in has uh, got a lot of springs and uh, water flows pretty freely in the spring. So we might have to get a water tank and then eventually just pump water into the tank for the summer. But uh, uh, anyway, it's late in the fall. We'll deal with this well in the spring. I was hoping there'd be water in it still, but... Anyways, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video and uh, leave your suggestions what we might uh, do in the spring. Well, there's my dog. Say hi, honey. Hey, girl. Well, we have to get you well in the spring. So, anyways, honey stopped by to say hi, but uh, we'll have to... Uh, deal with this well in the spring. It's getting late in the fall now. Oh, you okay, girl? Come here. And uh, we'll have to deal with this well in the spring now. But uh, anyways, gives me hope anyways that there was water there at one point. We might have to dig it down a few feet to keep water in there all summer. But uh, I might get a culvert or some kind of casing for it. And then if we dig it out a bit um, in the spring, then we can case it and keep all this debris out and the kids out of it uh, going forward and hopefully the snakes out of there as well so anyways uh, leave your comments or suggestions what I should do with this well next year in the comments below now this was a hand dug well from like the late 1800s and uh, with the location of it you can't get a truck or a rig in to redrill it or service it or anything like that so um, just let me know what you guys think I should do so anyway we'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.